I'm a graphic designer. My question is, Allah has no gender, neither male nor female. Allah is the ultimate power, almighty. Then why do we call Allah He? That's a very important question. And this question disturbed me a lot for the first few years of my life as a Dai. When I started Dawa after meeting Sheikh Ahmad Didad in 1988, I met Ahmad Didad in 1987 and started Dawa from 1988. And this question did trouble me also and I asked many people and no one gave me this answer. When I went to Medina in 1997, to learn the Quranic Arabic with Dr. Fahab Rahim, as I mentioned in my earlier answer, who was a tenant of and a close friend of Dr. Zayraman Azmi, Malla Grandam Jannah. Dr. Zayraman Azmi is also originally an Indian, coming from Tamil Nadu, and mashallah, he is one of the best in teaching Arabic to the non Arabs. And he knows about 17 to 20 languages. And he is phenomenal, mashallah. I learned a great deal from him. When I was learning Arabic, and when initially when I met him, I asked him the question, even he didn't have a satisfactory reply. But after I finished about two or three weeks of my studying with him, when he was teaching me Arabic, and in the Arabic, while learning Arabic, I learned from him that there are certain rules and regulation when you say that one this particular object is feminine. In Arabic language, you have masculine and feminine. You don't have a neuter gender. In most of the languages, you have three gender: feminine, masculine, and neuter. But in Arabic, you have only two gender: masculine and feminine. And there are some rules and regulation for any object to be feminine. One of the rules is that if it's in pair, pairs of body, like hands, in Arabic it is yadun, it is feminine, ainun, two eyes, it is feminine. So anything which is in pair on a body, it becomes feminine by default, one of the rules. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one, qul hu Allah wa ahad, so but naturally cannot be feminine. The second rule that if it ends in ta marbuta, if the word ends in ta, like mirvahatun, fan, it becomes feminine, saatun, the watch, ending in ta marbuta, it becomes feminine. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, doesn't end in ta marbuta, so by default, it is not feminine. If it ends in alif, akhla alif, it becomes feminine. Allah doesn't end in Alif. If it is feminine by nature, like Ummun, Ukhtun, feminine by nature, mother, sister, it becomes feminine. Allah is not feminine by nature. So according to me, since it is not falling in any of the rules of feminine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you rightly said, is neither male, neither female. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unique. He has got nine. He has got no gender. But because Arabic language has got two gender, masculine and feminine, and by default, Allah doesn't come into any of the rules of the feminine, by default, it becomes masculine. And when I gave this reasoning to Dr. Fahab Rahim, he started smiling and he said, this can be used in your answer. So Alhamdulillah, after that, whenever, I, whenever anyone asks me this question, I give the reply. So by default, it doesn't follow the rules of Arabic grammar for a feminine. By default, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we use the word huwa for him. Qul huwa Allah hu ahad. Say he is Allah one only. But we all of us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unique. He, has, he is neither male, neither feminine. He is neither masculine. But by default in Arabic language, because it doesn't follow the rules of feminine gender, it becomes masculine. And this answer, mashallah, is sufficient to prove why Allah uses the word huwa in the Quran for himself. Hope that's okay.